It's a mystery to many people how 3D animated films are created. Where do the colorful, complex images we see in films by Pixar, DreamWorks, and Disney come from? Traditional animation is fairly simple to understand. Animators draw each frame with pencil on paper, and we watch 24 frames per second in the theater and see a moving image. A better comparison for 3D animation is stop motion. Puppets are placed on sets and moved in tiny increments to record movement. Except in 3D, the puppets and sets are in a virtual world inside the computer. The concept stage searches for the main points of the story. First ideas are usually bad, so time is spent finding the perfect story or element. This often includes research to ensure the story is accurate and clear. Once the story finds a direction, the details are flushed out in the script with voiceover, character dialogue, and descriptions. And again, the script goes through several iterations as ideas are refined. Now it's time to begin visualizing the story. The visual style is explored through research, reference, and sketches. Characters are designed according to the story requirements. And colors, shapes, and textures in the characters and environment are chosen to enhance the themes and the subject of the story. Each scene is laid out with small thumbnail sketches. This allows fast iteration of different visual storytelling ideas. Actions, camera angles, and environments can be changed to tell the story more effectively. Storyboards add more detail to the thumbnail sketches. The drawings are shaded to demonstrate lighting and mood. Facial expressions and actions are added to plan character performances. The movement of the camera, characters, and objects in each scene are carefully planned to tell the story in the most effective way. To create the animatic, the storyboards are put in sequence and timed to a temporary audio track. This allows the artist to feel the timing, pacing, and emotions of the story and make any final tweaks before production begins. The first step of production is modeling. A computer model is made up of rectangular shapes called polygons. Thousands and even millions of polygons are connected to form a three-dimensional shape. Polygons are slow to work with when modeling organic shapes such as people and animals. A digital sculpting program provides more intuitive tools for the artist. Once the sculpture is finished, the model is rebuilt or retopologized following specific guidelines so the final model is animation ready. During rigging, a skeleton is created to provide simple yet versatile controls for the animators. Complexity of rigs vary greatly depending on the character and story requirements. The rig is attached to the model through a process called weight painting. Each bone has a color that shows its influence or weight on the model. Painting weights that function well in every position can be a very tedious process. Facial movements are also created and plugged into animator-friendly controls. The shading stage finally brings some color to the party. But first, the models must be unwrapped. Like tanning an animal hide, the character's skin must be sliced in strategic places and laid out flat in order to be painted. This is called UV unwrapping. Realistic shaders are built in layers. The diffuse map defines the colors, but other maps such as bump, specular, reflection, and displacement add things like roughness, glossiness, and reflectivity. Finally, animation. The timing in the animation is based on the animatic. Animators also record reference footage to test out different character performances. In the computer, actions are roughly outlined with the essential poses needed to tell the story in that specific shot. In-between poses break down the actions and continue refining the character performance. At this point, the animation is still choppy, so splines are added to smooth out the motion. The majority of the work is in tweaking those data curves to really bring the character to life. You know, I was thinking, maybe I'll get enough to go to the Bahamas. Or maybe I'll buy a jet ski. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, I should tweet about this. Lighting enhances the colors, shapes, and textures in a scene. Realistic 3D images are achieved only with good lighting. It also sets a mood and directs the audience's focus to help tell the story. 
To understand 3D lighting, just think of a photography studio inside the computer. Lights of different size, color, and brightness are positioned around the characters and environment, and a virtual camera captures all the images. Finally, the last stage is rendering. This is the process of calculating the light rays bouncing around the scene, reacting with the shaders, and creating shadows, and ultimately reaching the camera to create an image. This is a very computer-intensive process that can take hours or even days for a single frame. Large animation studios have thousands of computers rendering around the clock in order to create a feature film on schedule. In the end, even with all the computers and technology behind 3D animation, all that matters is telling a good story that connects with people. That's what makes Disney and Pixar films great, and that's why I love what I do.